Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial video. In this short tutorial we discuss how you can easily and efficiently create color scheme plans and legends. Color scheme helps to represent the building rooms, spaces, or other functions as color diagrams. The color scheme makes it easy for clients to understand the complexity of the building and its various uses. Color schemes is a graphical filter based on an element type and its parameter and value. Color schemes by properties help to represent the model with colors and help to understand the content of the project. Archline XP recolors selected elements by property, action, and value. An obvious use is the comprehensible representation of rooms with color schemes. In addition to the room, other elements of the building can also be displayed, so that customers can easily understand the complexity within the building. Let's start by creating a room color scheme. So we want to color each room according to its name, and then we can create a legend to show the relationship between the color and the name. Archline XP includes some factory settings, for example, the color scheme for arranging rooms by area. Let's see how we can create this in the project. The color schemes will be accessed under the annotate, color fill menu, and within that I will select color schemes, color schemes. Let's look at the structure of the dialog. First, we can choose from the disciplines, and within those, different elements of what we want to make a color scheme from. If we select an element, we can add different properties to it and create a color scheme from it. At the top right we can see the pre-made color scheme. But let's see exactly how we can create a new one. So, as I said, I'll do the room, room type again, and then I'll delete it. I click on the room, then I select the room type. Then I click on the plus button and it's going to be added to the color scheme list. I can add the data from the floor plan to this list here, using the import from floor plan command. Now we can see what colors the program will use to mark the listed rooms. If I want to delete a color scheme, I can do so by using the delete button. I will delete this one, as I have already created one beforehand. We can see the same colors here. If we want to change a color, we can do that too. If I'm done with all the settings, I'll accept it and the program will automatically update the floor plan, where we can now see the color scheme according to the room type. If I want to turn this color scheme off or change it to another one, I can do so in the properties menu, under the color schemes command. Clicking on none restore the original state of the floor plan. Let's see what color schemes are in the program by default. The following color scheme, rooms by net area. This is what I will choose now. Here we can see the color scheme by area. Let's see what settings this has. I'm going to go back to the color scheme dialog, and we can see that the active color scheme is displayed here. It's set to highlight areas smaller than 6 square meters in green. Areas smaller than 12 square meters are marked in blue, and areas greater than 12 square meters are marked in pink. These can be modified. In the next section, we will look at how we can place a color scheme legend. This is also accessed in the color fill, color schemes menu and will be found under the color scheme legend command. I simply select the command and I can place the legend next to the floor plan, where we can see exactly the values that I just shown in the dialog. Now let's copy this floor plan onto a plan sheet. In the project navigator, I have some plan sheets ready so I just need to copy the floor plan to them. I choose documentation, plot layout, copy part to plot layout with a rectangle, and I'll copy this area, so that the legend is included. I go back to the sheet and choose place to plot layout at 1 to 100 scale. This makes it very easy to display different color scheme plans in the documentation. I go back to the floor plan and select none from the properties menu, which restores the original floor plan state. Now I'm going to create the color scheme by the thickness of the walls. In the properties menu, I select the walls by thickness and place the color scheme legend next to the floor plan. As we can see from the legend, walls thicker than 300mm are marked in pink, 
walls less than or equal to 300 mm are marked in brown, walls less than or equal to 200 mm are marked in green, and walls less than or equal 100 mm are marked in blue. Now let's take a look at the 3D model and see how it adapts to these changes. To do this, I create a cutout view of the 3D model. In the 3D window, we also get the color scheme command in the side menu, and we can select the saved color schemes here as well. Let's select the walls by thickness, and we can see that the program updates the 3D model and follow the settings right away. Let's look at the model. We can see the same colors here as on the floor plan I just shown. As in the floor plan, we can restore the original state by using the none option. This brings us to the end of today's tutorial video. I hope it has been useful for you. Have a nice day. Bye.